It started with a single crack. Now it's a housing crisis. March 13th, 2025. A magnitude 4.4 earthquake rocked Pozzuoli for 30 seconds. By March 15th, 73 families had been permanently evacuated from buildings deemed structurally unsound. By March 30th, that number reached 150. Today, nearly 300 families across the Naples metropolitan area remain displaced, not by a major disaster, but by hairline cracks that engineers say could kill. What's happening in Naples defies everything scientists thought they knew about earthquake damage. Moderate quakes do not usually create permanent displacement. Buildings either survive or they collapse. They do not slowly become uninhabitable. But Campi Flegre is not a usual earthquake zone. Beneath the caldera, Stanford researchers have identified a geological mechanism that is turning mild seismic activity into a housing destroyer. The same pressure system creating steam explosions is also amplifying earthquake waves as they pass through the geothermal reservoir, concentrating seismic energy precisely where people live. The result? Buildings that look fine from the outside but are slowly being shaken apart from within. Load-bearing walls are developing invisible stress fractures. Foundations are shifting millimetre by millimetre until structural integrity fails completely. And here is the most terrifying part. Every earthquake makes the next one worse. Each tremor weakens more buildings. Each aftershock creates new evacuees. It is a cascade effect that has already displaced hundreds of families. And we have not even seen the major earthquake yet. So if magnitude four plus earthquakes are already creating a refugee crisis in one of Europe's most historic cities, what happens when a magnitude five plus event finally strikes? What happens to nearly a million people when their homes become death traps faster than they can evacuate? Most people think of Vesuvius when they imagine volcanic destruction in Italy. They are looking at the wrong mountain. 39,000 years ago, Campi Flegrai erupted with the force of 550 million Hiroshima bombs. The Campanian Ignimbrite explosion ejected 72 cubic miles of molten rock into the atmosphere, plunging global temperatures and covering Europe and Russia in volcanic ash. It was quite possibly the closest human civilization has ever come to extinction by natural disaster. But the real terror was not the size of the eruption, it was where it happened. The blast created an eight mile wide crater that today houses nearly a million people in Naples and surrounding communities. Since that catastrophic eruption, Campi Flegre has followed a disturbing cycle that scientists call Breda Seism. These are periods of ground inflation and deflation that can last decades. The 1538 eruption came after Campi Flegre had slept for nearly 3,000 years. It awakened with eight days of earthquakes that displaced thousands. The eruption built Monte Nuovo in just one week, a permanent reminder that dormant does not mean dead. The 1970s were a warning. Ground began swelling at rates of up to three centimeters per month. By 1984, the land around Pozzuoli had risen three and a half meters. Residents watched their harbour become dry land as the seafloor lifted boats out of the Mediterranean. From 1982 to 1984, a crisis unfolded. 16,000 earthquakes hit in two years, and 40,000 residents were evacuated from Pozzuoli. Buildings cracked, foundations shifted, and families abandoned homes that had stood for centuries. Then suddenly it stopped. Scientists called it a failed eruption. According to Dr. Giovanni Macedonio of Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, what we thought was a crisis that ended was actually the first phase of a much longer, much more, much more dangerous cycle. Naples sits on a foundation of contradictions. Ancient Roman engineering meets medieval stonework meets modern concrete, all resting on volcanic soil that moves like a living thing. Most of the city's residential buildings were constructed from 1800 to 1950, 
long before modern seismic codes existed. Stone and masonry structures are designed for beauty and durability, not earthquake resistance. These buildings have survived wars, floods and minor earthquakes for generations, but they have never faced what Campi Flegre is doing to them now. In 2025, Dr. Tiziana Vanorio's team at Stanford made a discovery that rewrote the rules of volcanic seismology. Using advanced AI analysis, they revealed that Campi Flegre's geological structure creates amplification zones, areas where moderate earthquakes generate concentrated shaking that systematically destroys building integrity. Here is how the mechanism works. Earthquake waves enter the geothermal reservoir. The pressurized fluid system amplifies seismic energy. Waves exit the reservoir focused and intensified. Concentrated energy targets building foundations with surgical precision. Structures suffer internal damage while remaining standing. It is like turning earthquake waves into geological lasers aimed at people's homes. Traditional seismic monitoring detected 12,000 earthquakes from 2022 to 2025. AI analysis revealed the actual number was 54,000. Three quarters of the seismic events that were slowly destroying Naples were invisible to conventional science. Dr. William Ellsworth of Stanford put it bluntly, these long faults suggest an earthquake in the magnitude five range is not out of the question. And if magnitude four plus events are already creating structural refugees, a magnitude five would be catastrophic. At 1.25 a.m. and two seconds on March 13th, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake lasting 18 seconds changed everything scientists thought they knew about earthquake damage patterns. Within six hours, 73 buildings were condemned. Within 24 hours, 156 families were evacuated. Within one week, entire city blocks were declared uninhabitable. Dr. Antonio Forcellini, a structural engineer who studied the damage, said, these buildings are not collapsing. They are being systematically dismantled by seismic forces we have never seen before. The March earthquake revealed a terrifying truth. Campi Flegre does not destroy buildings randomly. It targets their weakest points with mathematical precision. Analysis of load-bearing walls showed the following. Stress fractures appeared in 89% of supporting structures. Foundation separations occurred in predictable geometric patterns. Damage concentrated in areas of maximum structural vulnerability. It is as if the geological system had studied architectural blueprints and designed the perfect earthquake to make buildings uninhabitable without flattening them. The magnitude 4.6 earthquake on June 30th proved the system was not just precise, it was learning. In March, the 4.4 earthquake displaced 73 families. In June, the 4.6 earthquake displaced 89 families. Damage efficiency increased by 23% for each magnitude unit. The geological weapon was getting stronger and more efficient with each strike. AI mapping revealed that building damage follows a specific pattern. It concentrates along a ring fault system converging beneath Pozzuoli. The same structural weakness that is creating the geological pressure is also focusing earthquake energy precisely where people live. Dr. Xing Tan, lead researcher, said, Our Italian colleagues were surprised to see the ring so clearly. He added that the faults are positioned like they were designed to attack building foundations. 312 families can never go home again, not because their buildings collapsed, but because living in them became a death sentence. Hotel costs, relative overcrowding, and emergency shelter strain mean Naples housing infrastructure is already at a breaking point. Dr. Matteo Romano, emergency housing coordinator, said that they are running out of places to put people and that every earthquake creates more refugees than the last one. Based on current patterns, a magnitude five plus earthquake would cause the following. Displace 2,000 to 3,000 families instantly. Condemn 40 to 60% of older buildings in central Naples. Overwhelm emergency housing by 400 to 
creates 10,000 to 15,000 structural refugees. The timeline is 30 seconds of shaking, 48 hours to chaos, months to find shelter for everyone. Naples is Italy's third largest city and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mass building condemnation would trigger several cascading impacts. Tourism would collapse as historic districts become uninhabitable. The real estate market would crash as property values become immeasurable. The insurance industry would face a crisis as structural damage claims overwhelm coverage. Cultural heritage would be destroyed as centuries-old buildings become too dangerous to preserve. The estimated economic impact is 50 to 75 billion euros. As more buildings become uninhabitable, schools close when structures cannot guarantee student safety. Hospitals evacuate when foundation damage threatens patient care. Government buildings shut down when basic services become too risky to provide. Transportation networks fail when subway stations and bus terminals crack. The result is urban systems failure, cascading through southern Italy's largest metropolitan area. Naples' housing crisis would ripple outward. Rome could be overwhelmed by northward refugee migration. Surrounding towns would exceed capacity for displaced families. European Union intervention would be required for a housing emergency. The Mediterranean refugee crisis could expand to include internal climate displacement. Living above a geological weapon changes people. Families wake up each morning wondering if today's earthquake will force them to abandon everything. Children develop anxiety disorders. Parents stop investing in home improvements. Communities fracture as neighbor after neighbor evacuates. Dr. Elena Borghetti, trauma psychologist, says they are seeing a new form of PTSD, not from a single traumatic event, but from the constant threat that your home could become uninhabitable without warning. At Naples's Vesuvius Observatory, Dr. Giovanni Macedonio monitors every tremor, every pressure reading, every sign that the building killer mechanism is accelerating. He warns that two of the most recent earthquakes are the strongest we have ever seen, and families evacuated months ago still cannot return home. The data reveals a terrifying truth. Each earthquake is stronger and more destructive than the last. In March 2025, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake displaced 73 families. In June 2025, a magnitude 4.6 earthquake displaced 89 families. Pattern prediction. A magnitude 5 or greater event is predicted within 18 to 24 months. Dr. Warner Marzocchi of the University of Naples says the system is accelerating toward critical failure. He says the question is not if we will see magnitude 5 or greater earthquakes, it is how many families we can relocate before they strike. The warning signs are multiplying. Building condemnation rate is increasing by 15% per earthquake. Structural damage patterns are becoming more precise and more devastating. Ring fault pressure is building toward simultaneous failure. Family displacement is accelerating beyond housing capacity. Naples faces a decision no city should have to make. A. Evacuate preventively and abandon one of Europe's greatest cultural treasures. Or wait for the magnitude 5 plus earthquake that could make the evacuation permanent. Dr. Antonio Forcellini, structural engineer, says We are watching the slow motion destruction of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Building by building, family by family, earthquake by earthquake as 312 families remain displaced and the earthquake pattern accelerates, the questions become increasingly urgent. If magnitude 4 plus earthquakes can already turn hundreds of families into refugees, what happens when the magnitude 5 plus event finally strikes? When Naples runs out of safe buildings, where will nearly a million people go? And what happens when one of Europe's oldest cities becomes too dangerous to live in but too historically valuable to abandon. The building killer mechanism is already armed and firing. The refugee crisis has already begun. The only question left is whether Naples can find a way to house its people faster than Campi Flagre can destroy their homes. Subscribe to Earth Attacks for your survival guide to the world's most dangerous geological threats. 
When the big one finally hits Naples, you'll want to be the first to know. Don't wait until it's too late. Join the Earth Attacks community today and stay one step ahead of the planet's next catastrophic move.